Hey, hey. Hey, hey y'all. How are you? Good. I'm playing with the angle of my camera, so bear with me. I am about to screen share our presentation, too so. Too much ceiling? Too much ceiling above me? It's either that or you're looking up my nose. I'm trying to decide which is the better view. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of ceiling, but that's what I got. Okay. Well, hello, everybody. Everyone's early birds today. I love it. Hello. Hello, hello. Yep. Ready for that? Okay. Are we seeing the screen share? We are seeing your scuba diving fins. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We see your desktop. Was that really you, or is that a generic picture? No, that's a generic picture. <laughs> Let me just move this over. I had one of those horrible nightmares today where my uh, uh, computer just froze up. And it was just horrible, so. And that wasn't a dream, that was real. It really did freeze up. It was, oh God. I was just on a live Zoom call and I had locked the front door to the building because I'm here by myself. And the landlords pounded on the window to get me to unlock the door and I fell out of my chair in the middle of the Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Before or after the thing froze up? Uh, that it's was after. Nightmare. So it's just been one of those days. It's a different nightmare. So let's see. Hi, Alan. Hi. Okay. Can't see my green country casual. Uh, I can't get it to go onto the right screen now. Uh, oh, where's your backdrop? <laughs> you know what? I was about to text you. I don't know why I can't get rid of the digital backdrop. I try. I um, I thought I undid it yesterday. Yeah, just go under. So uh, next, the little arrow next to stop video. Yeah. Uh, just do choose virtual background. Uh huh. And then just choose none. Yeah, I select. Oh, there we oh, go. Now we see it. Beautiful. Okay, you just gotta move there it. There we go. Okay. Over a little bit, so we see your. Uh, the logo, but yeah. Uh, I guess I need to move this. You can just angle it a little bit, yeah. There you go, perfect. Yeah, there we go. Good. <laughs> I'm by the poolside. <laughs> Where we all wish it could be. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that, my hair is on my microphone. Um, do you guys wanna practice screen sharing while we're yeah, where we go live and yeah. just make sure everything is working for you guys. Yep, I can uh, start. I don't know. Hopefully, Dana will join shortly. But let me see. Um. And for those of us just joining us early, enjoy the behind-the-scenes look. <laughs> <laughs> ASID <laughs> Productions. <laughs> Everybody, see, does it? You see my Vegas? Yep, yeah, yeah. Your Vegas. Yeah. Line. Yay. We see it. All right. And then there's that. And then I was going to pop open. So we're going to explain that. Then I'm going to pop open the scorecard. And then are you seeing the roulette game? Yep. Yep. Okay, perfect. All right. So and I for those... Did you want to do a sound check on that roulette? Yep. Let me try it. Hold on. No more bets, please. Yeah, sounds good. No music. <laughs> good. All right. Awesome. 24, black, evens. <laughs> good. Yeah, you don't have to say as much, Stephanie. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I love it. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing now. And I'll let Madeline, if you want to. Okay, I'll try this. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Cats, no cats allowed. No cats allowed. <laughs> <laughs> we allow cats. Oh, I just might probably be joining us. My, uh, rather than later. <laughs> I'm going to say, welcome to the country cat. Uh, look at you. <laughs> Okay, does this look okay? Yeah, that's really strong. <laughs> I really want to adopt. Oh, I have a foster and two stepchildren, but my sisters and brothers, well, two of my sisters and two of my brothers have both got adopted okay. additional children. And actually, oh, the, really? Kore the my oldest sister adopted a brother and sister from Korea. So they're actually biologically brother and sister. And, oh, that's yeah. so cool. I, awesome. I have one but um i desperately want to have another child but i'm 40 i'll be 42 in a couple months and i just don't know if i can do it and but I, i've always wanted to adopt i just i don't know if i could do foster i don't i would i would want to keep that baby no matter what or child after a week i i could never i don't know yeah. if i could do it, give it back, give her back fostering is very hard for that but luckily i never had to give mine back because um oh really that's, yeah, that's she wa she wasn't a legitimate foster child in the fact that she had a broken home. She was my my best friend from high school's daughter, and she had a move and couldn't afford to pay finish college if she took the child with her because she wasn't old enough to start daycare. So I kept her. Aww. So I got foster privileges to so I could do all the parenting stuff. Aww, and when she graduated cool. high school after she went back to live with her mom, she came back to live with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aww. That's cool. Well, I'll have to chat more with you about that because I'd love to find an avenue to make that happen. Oh, anytime. <laughs> Thanks. And I adopt pets, people, bad <laughs> habits. <laughs> Uh, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Hey, Donna. How are you? I'm not sure how, for whatever reason, I can't get a big screen here. I'm getting your screen sharing launch. Yeah, Joanne, you're sharing your screen. You need to stop your share. Uh, <laughs> I can do that. How's that? Oh, oh okay. There. Oh, okay. So we should be back to our lovely sponsors. Thank you, all of you. Welcome. Country Casual Teak has really come through for us people. Shop wisely. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Price Modern. They were on the call, right? Yeah. yeah. Me. Oh, my adoption friend. Yeah. You can adopt me. I can be okay. an obnoxious teenage daughter. <laughs> I have a gift. <laughs> You're welcome anytime. <laughs> you will always look like my sister instead of my mother. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, we're, um, we, we do office furniture solutions, but mm -hmm. I'm actually the director of the flooring department um because we are now doing carpeted flooring as well mm. really oh, great yeah. you're a hayworth dealer right um nice. yeah yeah we're we are the, the the biggest hayworth dealer actually so wow. um, but Congratulations. We sell, thanks we sell tons of other furniture lines as well i mean we have i mean I think they said something like almost a thousand other lines that we sell a ton of. So, wow. um, yeah, so we're, and we're always adding on. So we have like 40 sales reps in three offices. So there's, you know, I was interested to learn about um, country tea because there's always room for growth. Perfect. So now I'm going to jump yeah, in uh, here uh, just because it is after it's almost 540. And um, if Rebecca, if you'd like to introduce our program for the day, I will stop my screen share so Dana can set up his and uh, we can start the program and we'll be able to network in the breakout rooms and we can always stay on later and network. Okay, so I'm Rebecca Hubler and welcome to our Mix and Mingle. And uh, today we are very fortunate to have Country Casual Teak hosting our event. 
and I think you guys are going to be wowed. We got a little preview yesterday, and they've put together a fabulous uh, event. I want to thank our year-round sponsors, which are Fabrica, Country Casual Teak, uh, Price Modern, and, uh-oh, I need a little cheat sheet here. Um, Home Depot. Home Depot. We have our year-round sponsors of Country Casual Teak, who is with us today, the yes. Home Depot Design Center, Fabrica, yes. Fine Carpets and Rugs, and that's compliments of Judy, who helped us put this all together as well. And we have our event underwriting sponsors, who are Carpet Impressions, Price Modern, my personal mom-to-be, who's going to adopt me, <laughs> Erwin Williams, and Salvation's Architectural Furnishings. Thank you, Terry, for helping me out here. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to turn the program over to Country Casual Teaks. And like I said, be prepared to be wowed. It's a great presentation. OK, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Terry. I'm going to share my screen. All right. OK, does everybody see the screen, I hope? Yeah. Um, so again, thank you. Um, I'm Dana Goldstein. I am the COO of Country Casualty. And <clears throat> I'm going to start this off by just talking 10 minutes about the company, um, Teak, um, our furniture, uh, and then a um, uh, little bit of caring about caring for Teak. It's a lot for 10 minutes. And of course, we could talk a lot more about it. But um, here we go. So Many people don't know, we're actually local to Washington, D.C. We were started in 1977, and today our corporate headquarters is in Gaithersburg, Maryland, in Gaithersburg Air Park. Um, we do have a, a, a showroom there. Um, with our furniture, we really historically focused on three things, the printing materials, the construction, and then the design. Um, we stay very consistent with our teak. It's all grade A. You can see some here. Um, we use premium materials, uh, 316 stainless steel when we can, and almost all of the 316, um, if not 316 and 304, and of course, um, performance fabrics. We use mortise and tenon joinery, and I've got a video coming up that'll show you, talk more about that. Uh, we do a lot of testing of our products, um, uh, static, dynamic testing, um, they're used, uh, you know, a lot of commercial spaces and, of course, a lot of residential spaces. Uh, we're always looking for, you know, our, 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 our consistent theme is teak, but we're always looking to add other things. So we have teak and stainless steel. We have coming up uh, teak and uh, aluminum uh, collection. And then really the last point is this real, it's really important. Our uh, teak is uh, farmed. It's grown on plantations in Indonesia. And it's sustainable. It's a 40 year growing, 40, 50 year growing cycle. And I've got a whole presentation just on that bullet that would take an hour. And uh, maybe someday we can do that. Um, now I'm going to show you um, a short video which talks about our furniture and the teak we use in it. Here at Country Casual Teak, our selection of grade A teak from sustainably harvested plantations is just the start of our manufacturing process. Even with quality materials, furniture is only as good as its construction and craftsmanship. All of our timbers are shaped and cut by hand with machine jigs according to our rigorous production specifications. We then match the color of the wood and direction of the grain for each component so that the final piece is uniform in appearance. Our furniture is constructed using mortise and tenon joints and assembled using grooved dowels. These materials, as opposed to metal bolts and screws used by some manufacturers, ensure that the entire joint will expand and contract with the changing temperature and humidity outdoors. Finger joints are used to strengthen timbers at stress points and feature dowel or biscuit reinforcements hidden inside. Our timbers are solid teak, and we never use lamination as a substitute for quality materials. Our pieces go through many intensive quality control processes, both before and after construction, to ensure a top-notch final product. At Country Casual Teak, 
We are proud to call ourselves the nation's leading specialist in solid teak outdoor furniture. Our dedication to quality materials, durable construction, and constant innovation is what sets us apart from other brands and gives our clients confidence in our products. To learn more, please find us online at countrycasualteak.com or follow us on Instagram at countrycasualteak. Okay. Um, let me talk a little bit about just the benefits of teak. Teak has a high oil and rubber content, and, and this is really key. Um, teak then can withstand the outdoor elements. It can resist rotting and warping. It can resist insects. Um, it doesn't need extra finishes or treatments. Uh, we do have those as an option, but it's not needed. It stays warm in the winter and cool in the summer, and it can be left outside year round. So some of the services we offer to designers are, um, we can do obviously complementary swatches, um, not just of, of uh, fabric, but also teak, teak with uh, uh, our different uh, uh, furnish finishings. Um, we do 2D layouts, 3D renderings if needed for whatever project you're working on. We can do custom products. We can modify our existing products or we can make completely custom products. Um, we do many of those in our Maryland showroom in Gaithersburg. Um, of course, we do special wear fabrics and COM fabrics. I would say right now, we've put the custom uh, manufacturing process on hold. It's just it's very labor intensive and it's just a, you know, it's an unusual time. Um, we also offer uh, cleaning and finishing services and we can repair furniture, teak furniture, and we have replacement parts. Um, as an example, we have some local restaurants where we we would collect, let's say, a thousand pieces of their furniture, clean them, repair them, store them over the winter, place them back out in the summer or in the spring. And all of this work, at least in Maryland, D.C., Virginia, is done by our own um, uh, teams. We have other uh, carriers we work with nationally, but, but around this area, um, it's all our people. So our designer program, of course, has a you know, different price point. Um, you um, can work with one of our furniture specialists in our showroom in Gaithersburg. Now the showroom is not open right now. It'll, it'll open sometime later this year, we believe. Um, everything's done virtually now. Um, we have lots of digital content, uh, CAD blocks, spec sheets, imagery, you know, 2D, 3D uh, collection sheets, and those are available through a sales rep. And we're also later this year gonna uh, have them available self for service through a new section of our website. So a little bit, of, bit about caring for teak. Um, you know, the teak furniture in my yard, I just clean it with soap and water once a year. And you see on the left, an example of that. If you want a more intense cleaning for older teak, um, we have a two-part cleaner that'll really, you can see in the center uh, photo that it looks very different than just the basic cleaning with soap and water. And then if you want to bring the teak back to a golden color, we do have a sealer for that. Um, you know, we sell materials to do this. Of course, we can also do that, do this in our um, facility. Or you can do nothing. A lot of people just leave the furniture out and do nothing. Um, some do's and don'ts in caring for teak. Um, we do recommend you use gloves and eye protection. Uh, we do recommend using a tarp to protect whatever surface you're on. If you know, even with our products, if you are not sure of what it looks like, you can do a test underneath where no one can see it. Um, we have all kinds of different sealants, some for, you know, humid environments, some to protect, uh, if it's in a, let's say, a, a restaurant to protect against um, wine and ketchup. But even so, if, if there's a spill, we do recommend cleaning it up and not just leaving it on the teak. And then, as I said, you know, you can, you can, you can hose down the furniture. It's not a problem. Some don'ts. We don't recommend using teak oil in outdoor furniture. Teak oil that is sold is really not oil from teak. It's linseed oil or other kinds of oils. And we've just seen some bad outcomes with that, whether it's mold or sticky, um, sticky surface. Also, don't use steel wool. This can leave small flecks of metal in the grain of the wood. Um, don't sand against the grain as this will scratch the teak. And then this is an important one, probably the most important one on the page. Don't, don't uh, use a power washer on teak. We've seen both homeowners and facilities people 
that there's their go-to is a power washer. And what it does is it removes the soft wood between the grain. In fact, if you go on the internet and search YouTube for cleaning teak, you'll see a lot of people using a power washer and that's just a mistake. So I've seen a lot of furniture in our facility that people have sent to us just to repair because it's been so destroyed by a power washer. Um, teak can be used um, outdoors and indoors. Uh, in outdoors, it, it, because of the UV, it will gray. Indoors, it, uh, it gets a little darker. You can actually see this in our showroom um, when we reopen it. Um, so indoors, it really won't need any maintenance. And then if you're considering painting teak furniture, just remember this, you know, teak has a lot of oil. And so putting paint on the oil and the teak will, will capture that oil and it can cause you know, cracking and bubbling. Um, so that's it. I um, could talk to you probably two hours on what I just covered in 10 minutes, <laughs> but I'm gonna stop sharing and pass, this, uh, pass, my, uh, pass it on to Stephanie now. All right. Got to get my uh, little visor on here. All right. Welcome. Ho hopefully everybody can see. Welcome to uh, Country Casualty Casino in Vegas. We're going to have a little fun uh, throughout the night playing a little uh, roulette. So let me explain a little bit how the game is going to work. We're going to do um, three rounds throughout the night. And you should hopefully have everyone got your scorecard. Um, each round will have sort of a different theme. Yes, there we go. I see some scorecards. So in round one, we're going to just bet black or red, and there'll be um, three spins on each round, and then you, you'll earn five points for each correct um, bet. In round two, we're going to do odds or evens, and then again, there'll be three spins in the round and 10 points for each one that you get correct. Um, and then in round three, we're actually going to try to pick a number between one and 36 to see if we can uh, try your luck on actually guessing the exact number that it's going to land on. And, um, and, that, and then at the end of the night, we'll add up all our scores and hopefully we'll have a winner. If we have a tiebreaker, we'll do a tiebreaker round. And then everyone uh, can, the, our top uh, point getters will win some uh, country casual teak swag at the end. So, um, so that's. Okay, so everybody should have, and I'll just pop it up. I know some people held it up. Hopefully break out your scorecard. Um, we're gonna start with round one. Yep, I see a, okay, good. So uh, in this round, we're, again, we're gonna do three spins. You're gonna bet black or red on e each time we do a spin. And then if for every one you get right, uh, you'll get five points. So hopefully everybody's got their card. And I'm so how do we put down what we're betting? So it's just write it on there or yep, you just write it down. So I'll talk you through it as we go through the spins. So here we go. All right. So if everyone were in round one, you're, you're betting um, black or red. And so for spin one, if everyone could write down on the line, black or red, um, and then we're going to go ahead and give the wheel a spin. Now you might see me doing some clicking on the screen. That's just so I can get the spinning to work. So I'm just, you know, picking my own thing, but that's at the end of the day. Well, it'll, it's just to, uh, to get our little roulette wheel working. Okay. So hopefully everyone's written down their bet for spin one. Here we go. No more bets, please. Okay, we, we've, got, we've black. got black. Evens. Oh, bummer. So if you wrote down black, give yourself five. Give I got your, five. Give, your bets, please. give yourself five points if you got black. Not I don't me. think I'm, I'm eligible to win, but I'll still play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for spin two, write down black or red. What do you think you're gonna? We're gonna get for spin two. Everybody, write it on their sheet. All right, let's give the wheel a spin. No more bets, please. Come to mama. <laughs> Another black. 13. Yay. Another Odds. black. Give yourself five points if you Ooh. put down black. Place your bets, please. All right. Last spin of the round. So put right on the line, black or red. 
All right, everybody get their bets in. And here we go. No more bets, please. Another black. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so give, your, give yourself uh, five points if you put another black yes. guess bet on black. Place your bets, please. All right. So everyone hold that thought. We're going to continue with the program. I think we're going to go into a social break right now. And then uh, we will pick up the game throughout the evening. Mm. So I'm going to stop sharing. Rebecca, do you want to educate everyone on our break? We have to ask you to unmute. Thank you. Okay. So Terry is basically in charge. And what she's going to do is split everyone up and we're going to go into chat rooms. Um, at the end of 10 minutes, she's going to take us back to the meeting. So please do not and that includes me. Do not touch any buttons. Just wait for Terry to take you back into the meeting. To get things started, though, you can press enter meeting. And again, I want to thank our event sponsors, Price Modern, Carpet Impressions, Sherwin Williams, and Salutations Architectural Furnishings. Thank you. So see you all in a couple of minutes.
No, we wanted to keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a control freak. So busy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be going back into a breakout rooms right after. Uh, who's the next Ma piece of the presentation? Ma Madeline, yeah. Yes. So I'm going to try to share my screen. And does everybody see the designer spotlight screen in front of them? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yes. yes. All right. I have a very fun portion of the presentation. Dana kind of gave you the overview, and now I'm going to show you some eye candy from some of the designers that we have worked with over the years who do some stunning and fantastic outdoor spaces along with their regular interior design practice. So uh, the first uh, spotlight we'd like to share if I can make it happen, ah, is this beautiful waterfront home in Annapolis, Maryland. And you might recognize this architecture. Um, it is by Purple Cherry Architects who um, do a lot of work in the Annapolis area. And the designer uh, has created this beautiful uh, blue oasis around a central theme. And the designer is Erin Page Pitts. Erin uh, is an interior designer who obviously works on interiors, but now so often takes her work outdoors for clients who want to integrate the indoors and outdoors very seamlessly. And she says as her inspiration, she used uh, pieces to invoke the Côte d'Azur meets Annapolis. And uh, she said, I love blue and wanted to use it liberally in various shades with a mixture that brought in texture and interest. And you'll see that throughout the photos that I'll show you today. Uh, so she says she thinks outdoor spaces can be as inviting as indoor spaces. And if you design it like it's an interior room, it tends to feel more finished uh, than just another uh, outdoor space. She has a few tips here, uh, both for designers and for uh, homeowners wanting to get a designer look. And she said to try to think of the space like it's an interior space, but use durable products. That's where we come in <laughs> and use the same type of accessories and details uh, in an outdoor space that you would indoors to make it feel finished. Define a palette and stick with it. In this case, she used uh, one of our wonderful sapphire blue colors. Uh, her third tip is mix it up. Use different types of accessories and elements, again, to bring texture and visual interest to the space. And her final tip is don't forget the plants and flowers. Uh, even the most amazing space is incomplete without the greenery. And she's lucky designing in Annapolis, there's a lot of greenery around. So here is a space that she's going to use for dining and entertaining. And she has set a foundation with a blue and neutral colored rug and then added texture with woven hurricanes. And the table is set with coordinating blue plates and dishes to match our cushions. Here's a lounging and relaxing area, again, in these rich blue colors. And you'll notice in these photographs that she has chosen to use teak that has been finished with our gray sealer. And she wanted to do this so that the teak wood would blend in with her existing Ipe wooden deck, which is weathered, and also uh, so that the furniture wouldn't contrast with the beautiful blue shingles of her home. Uh, here's a poolside space, which I think is fun and incorporates lots of layered textures. There's wicker in the baskets, there's cloth in the terry cloth towels, plush pillows, and even these fun rope uh, woven outdoor poofs. And this one is a very cozy setting off of the master bedroom. It's a balcony and it's all about comfort. Again, there's a rug underfoot. Uh, she included plush pillows, an outdoor throw blanket, and even a candle lantern uh, for like late night stargazing. So from there, from Annapolis, here's another project by a different designer. We go just across the Bay Bridge to a beautiful home uh, with expansive uh, water views. And this client had a special challenge <laughs> that she posed to her interior designer. Maybe it'll sound familiar to you. The designer here is Charlene Kennernecht of Monarch Designs. And the project is for a home in Queenstown on the Eastern shore of the Chesapeake Bay. And the client uh, does some regular entertaining. And in this case gave the designer about two weeks 
to put together a backyard ready for entertaining and ready for a gathering of 20 people on a large patio. Luckily, we were there and we were able to help in this case. Uh, so some advice that she gives for designing outdoor properties is that when um, she's walking the clients through the decisions, she encourages them to sort of romanticize about how they will use the space and what they will enjoy about it. And she said, if we create a space that invites them to go there, they will use it. If you build it, they will come. She has some tips uh, to um, get the conversation started with clients. She asks questions like, will you dine with two people or eight people or as a family? Would you read the morning news with your coffee or tea here? What would you do at night? Light a fire, watch the stars. And the, all of these questions help narrow down uh, what the space will, will be in the end and um, what will help her get inspired for the design. So again, she needed seating for 20 in a very short turnaround time. And uh, she has used our backless bar stools here so that anybody standing at the bar or near the bar would not um, have those beautiful water views impeded. Here's a large 10 foot long dining table set with, again, sleek and low profile stacking chairs. And this is a photo showing the expansive 13 foot umbrella that will shade throughout the day, uh, at least until the sun goes down. And these um, sleek and modern stackable, movable lounge chairs uh, are a nice relaxing spot poolside to take in all those wonderful views. Charlene worked on many projects with many clients in the region. Uh, and these are some examples of her other work. And her work really spans um, dining areas, lounging areas, relaxing areas. And she is able to draw on um, furniture from our more classic um, and traditional looking designs all the way through to our most contemporary looking. And finally, for our last uh, designer showcase. We take you all the way across country back to Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, which you can see has a very different look and feel for this contemporary uh, outdoor backyard that creates several distinct zones for relaxing, dining, and enjoying the outdoors. The designer here is Missy Stewart of Missy Stewart Designs. And she says of the project, when making selections for her Las Vegas backyard, she knew she wanted it to have clean lines, be uncluttered and monochromatic. She said that simplicity function and um, simplicity that functioned was the goal. And she had a few tips uh, for how she did this. She said, to first decide how you want to use the space, decide what the area is for. So she has created distinct zones in this backyard. Make sure it's comfortable. Again, uh, that's why many of her selections included cushions or slings. Um, consider storage. Another tip is to consider temperature in the area. In hot zones, she prefers to use sling back pieces and cushions maybe in colder or shady areas. Uh, and then she said, decide if you want a monochromatic look or a pop of color and says, remember, you can always purchase monochrome items and then add color with accessories. And finally, make sure you're purchasing furniture that is quality. This is why she loves teak, it ages well. And I think this will make her project age very well also. So here you can see there are two zones, one for lounging and relaxing around a very large coffee table uh, with our contemporary sleek uh, sectionals series, and then a small dining area near the outdoor grill. She has definitely stuck to her tip of creating a monotone feel and then adding pops of color with these fun throw pillows and side table. Another zone that she's created is the poolside kind of play and relax zone. And here she's used very sleek, modern, contemporary lines. And like she mentioned, the sling material to be very welcoming in the heat. And here is the fire uh, pit area with our stacking um, uh, low slung seating. 
And here, I think she's done a wonderful job of uh, playing off these two different textures. You've got the cool, um, smooth marble next to these uh, fuzzy, wonderful grasses and sleek um, uh, lines of the, the turf uh, that really led, lend to this like modern aesthetic. And that's it. We're back to another round of placing bets now that we are in Las Vegas. I'll stop sharing now so Stephanie can take over. All right, it's back to me. So I'm gonna share my screen if everyone can grab their scorecards again. We're entering into round two. So for round two, the bets are gonna be odds or evens. And again, we're gonna do three spins in the round. Again, for each one, you're gonna bet odd or even. So if everyone can grab their scorecards, then we're gonna get the roulette going again. Um, for spin one, if you can place your bet for odds or evens now, we'll, I'll get this going and we'll get our spin going. So again, odds or evens for spin one. And here we go. No more bets, please. And we have even. So give yourself black. No. Give yourself 10 points if you chose Point even events, please. for spin one. That's 10 points. All right, spin two. Please write down, place your bet for odds or evens. And we're on spin two, so odd or even. All right, here we go. We're gonna spin the wheel. No more bets, please. Thirty-four red again. Evens. Another another even. So give, give yourself ten points. Place your bets, please. Ten points if you chose even for spin two. All right, and we're moving on to our last spin of this round. So for spin three, place your bet for odds or evens. Let's see what the wheel has in store. Odd. Okay, so we got odds or even. Let's see. No what more bets, we've please. Got. Another even. <laughs> red. Evens. Oh my goodness, we're we're just on a theme here. It's all the same. Okay, so give yourself your bets, please. Ten points if you chose even for spin three. That's ten points, and that concludes our second round of roulette. We're going to go into another social break, and we'll come back and finish up and see who our winners are. Okay, thanks everyone. I'm going to be sending you into different rooms with new people, so make sure to introduce yourselves.
Now I missed part of the story. We got yanked back too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> that 10 minutes goes awfully fast. Yeah, that one seemed, to, but that one seemed to go much faster than the first one. Yeah, well, yeah were, I was I was ready to keep talking, and then we're all friends. <laughs> I know. Lots of fun. We will do this in person when we have more time. When we all have a glass of wine, and I'll bring the booze. <laughs> <laughs> Believe you me, I will. Daniel, you're suddenly even more attractive. <laughs> oh, bless her. <laughs> hey, I'll bring the food, booze. I'm tired of being stuck. <laughs> oh. In our showroom where everybody can relax on a... Yes. On a oh. Any one All of right. those pools will do me fine. I just <laughs> don't want to look at snow anymore. All right. I think I'm up for our last round. So we have our last round of roulette for the evening. This one's gonna get a little bit harder because now we're gonna, you're gonna actually have to pick a number between one and 36 for each of the spins to see if you can actually guess what the, the exact number that the wheel will land on. So if everyone can grab their scorecard, we're gonna bring up our roulette wheel again. Um, so for spin one, if you can write down a number between one and 36, we will see. How we so spin one, write down a number between one and 36. All right, here we go. No more bets, please. Four, so we have four. Black, Give I had that number, yay. Woo! <laughs> All right, we need it. Please. Give yourself 20 points. Wow. Way to go, Judy. 20 points. I'm so mad. That was the number I was going to choose next because it's my daughter's age. <laughs> well, you, you never know the, the rate we're going today. I actually, I was just going to say, if it's like the last two rounds, we're going right. to go four again. Four, four, four. <laughs> there you go. It could be four. I sound like a lawyer's phone number. <laughs> Call four 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 four. All right, so we are on to spin two. If everyone can pick a number between one and thirty-six, then we will go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're getting. All right, place your bets, and here we go. No more bets, please. Twenty-two. 22. Mm. Twenty-three. Oh, okay. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't count. This is not horseshoe. I got it. But that's my son's <laughs> age, so I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so close. All right. We're on to our last spin of the round. <clears throat> Go ahead and pick a your last number between one and 36 for spin three. Go ahead and write that down. And we'll see what the wheel has in store. No more bets, please. The age I hope I win. 26. <laughs> Come on, y'all. I had 27. That's mine. That's my birthday. 27. That's my other son's age. 26. <laughs> Come on. I'm off on I got to tell you something. On you know how you win this? I bet the same thing. I bet black, black, black. And you know what's really weird? Every number's been even. It is. Yeah. <laughs> That's insanity. But I, I swear on my life, I can't yeah. believe that. Okay. Round one, I round two, I got all of them. I did black, 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 even, even, even. The last so did three, I. I missed by one number for each. Yeah, you're on <laughs> Kathy. Kathy, man, you got, I can't believe gonna, I was excited. You gotta hit that MGM casino. You're in that <laughs> you are so on. close. So I got, let's see, All right, 30 so and 20 is 50. I got 65. Yeah, I was going to say, if everybody can, okay, so if everyone can add up their points and then put it in the chat, we're going to figure out who our high That's scores crazy. are. Our high low. <laughs> That's true. High low. Actually, high low for our next gambling. How do we do that? We just say our name. Low. Are we supposed to say our name? No, just just put, enter it in the chat. It'll have your name. Oh, that's yeah, right. it should say to everyone, and that yeah. way everyone will be able to see it. I can't believe it. I never win anything. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Ken, six. I'm telling you, I was like, and I said to myself, because you know what, you like start thinking, I'm going to change the number. I said no. I just went black, black, black. 
even, 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 and it kept coming up. And like I said, every <laughs> one of those spins was even. Five. That yeah. is, yeah, that is really. <laughs> It's crazy. Would, the whole thing is I would be high. yelling at the roulette dealer if I didn't know how honest and integ how much integrity. <laughs> oh, you know, well, whatever. <laughs> Way to go, Matt. My yeah. mother, my my uncle Bernie, God rest his soul, used to go to Las Vegas all the time, and he would bet twenty six black. And one time he won. I must have been about thirteen or fourteen, and he brought us home. This is I'm really old. He brought us mm -hmm. home a color TV, which wow. at that time in the sixties was like a big deal. So ever since then, but like I said. Well, Kent, now you can buy us an 8K, right? Well, I can buy you guys, sure. Absolutely, 8K television. <laughs> with, the, yeah. with the winnings from tonight. I so, I, so I think I've captured everything. So it looks like our first place winner is Ken with 65. So Ken, I don't know if you can see my screen here, but you have, there's a choice of prizes. Um, we've got... Oh, my wife, forget it. I know already. I'll get the get the wine. My wife, will, she's a big wine drinker. Okay. So, so it, thank okay. you very much. That's so fantastic. Ken's got the, the wine caddy with some wine is our Ooh. first one. Thank you very um, much. Which, uh, you're not local, are you? You're in New York? No, no, no. I live here. Oh, you're here in New York. I remember okay. I told you my office is in Gatesburg. Oh, I that's still, right. That's I right. still you're sound right. like I'm from New York. But yeah, I'm yeah, not. yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's right. So we'll, so we'll, we'll figure out a place to, we'll get that's connected fine. and figure out. Okay, the other prizes we have are our limited edition mini Adirondack. And when I say mini, we mean mini because it's nice. your, it for your business, business cards. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It is so cute. And then we also have a tote bag, uh, which you can see in the image there. And I, can, I actually can hold it up. We've got tote bags. Um, so our next winner is, I believe, Dan. No, wait. I think Judy. 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 Judy with 50. Judy's 50. Now, nice. Judy's going to pass because as one of the organizers, I'm, I don't qualify. Oh, I don't win, nice. so I will pass oh. on to the next person. All right. Mm. Then, I think we need to have a spinoff then with Ooh. Dan and... Happy. No, no, wait. Annette has 40, Annette. 45. Yeah, Annette. Annette. Oh, yeah. 45. No, no, Annette and Kathy are tied. Oh, wait. Annette yeah. and... Right. Kathy. Okay, so we need right. a, a spinoff with Annette and Kathy, right? Yep. Okay, so if each of you could put a number between 1 and 36 into the chat. Just for Kathy and Annette. Oh, yeah, okay. sorry, just for yep. Kathy and Annette. And then we'll go ahead and do one, one spin and see whoever gets closest. I can't believe how excited I got. That was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It was like I won like the Super Bowl or something. <laughs> it feels good. It's my boyish it. it's my boyish enthusiasm. That's okay. I mean. So it was with your boyish good looks. Yes. Oh, well, sorry. Let me see. Do we have our numbers in there? No, I don't see the numbers yet. So Kathy, oh, we gotta put them in the chat. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So Kathy and Annette, pick a number between one and thirty-six and just put it in the chat. Okay. I see Kathy's. Annette, do you have yours? All right. There we go. Okay. All there right. We go. Let's give the wheel a spin and see what we get here. If I can get my cursor back to the right. We're going to do the close. Wait, if it comes up zero, I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold on one second. For some reason, I am not getting my cursor back on the right screen. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. No more hats, please. Twenty-seven. I think that's uh, that so was the last time. That was. Hats, <laughs> please. Mm -hmm. So I believe our I winner. I put is... that again because that's my son's age. But I said, okay, no, I'll choose twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, so Kathy is our winner. All right, so Kathy is the is our winner. So oh, uh, you have a choice of the mini Adirondack or the tote bag. I will take the chair. It's so cute. Okay, there we go. Yes. Yeah. So one little chair coming your way. Yes. That's cute. Um, Okay, and then for our who, our lowest points, I didn't even see that. I gotta look and see who was. <laughs> It was our lowest point getter. I see it. Could have been me, but I don't care. It was a 20. I see 10, <laughs> 10 from 10. 
I that was, that was me. Spin -off and, um, oh, and not, no, we had fine. two people at 10. We had Rebecca and Annette. No, and that, Annette, that was Annette's number from her uh, spinoff. Oh. Yeah. So we had 15. Oh. Rebecca, you get the tote bag. <laughs> Yay, but maybe I need to do what Judy is doing and recuse myself recuse because yourself. I am one of the organizers, but the tote bag looks so, fab. It looks like so I do it reluctantly. Okay. And then I think I think Donna gets because Donna had 15, so she was the next one. Great. So yay, yay, Donna. Congratulations, everyone. All right. Well, I will work on getting everybody's addresses and prizes and we'll get that um, out to everybody. Great. Um, do you want them to do you want to post your email right here in the yeah. uh, chat and they can write that down and send you their addresses or yep, that's how to get great. them the prizes? That sounds great. There's my while while you're doing this, I would just like to can, thank you for a fabulous presentation. But also, I would like to recognize two of our incoming board members. Annette Phillips is going to be president-elect. Congratulations, Annette. And Zara Noshad is going to be our financial director starting in October of 2021. So congratulations, you guys. Very nice. Yay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> And we're both in Vienna. Figure that. Wow, <laughs> yeah, you could carpool. Yeah, to our virtual meetings. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want you all to know that I'm from Rochester, and that's where I am. But this is how you cheer in sign language. So okay. you'll see people doing this on Zoom, and it looks really weird. But no, this is Fosse hands. This is cheering. <laughs> but this is how you cheer for deaf people or when you can't hear there you go daniel's got it yeah so thanks everyone let everyone thank country casualty Woo! Great. Yeah, thank, you. Thank, thank you thank you so much oh, so this is again, wonderful. i want to thank our sponsor underwriters for this event carpet impressions price modern sherwin williams and salvation architectural furnishings and i also want to thank our year-round sponsors thank you country casualty home depot design center and fabrica so thank you guys this was loads of fun yeah and don't forget for our winners donna i got yours but for our other two winners please uh send me your addresses into my email gotta go load the car for tomorrow morning <laughs> And I want to thank Country Casualty because I will be plagiarizing this roulette idea. I love it. Um, you, you guys did a really great job. Really yeah. great job. Yeah. Thank, now, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Melvin was thank the master you. of Pictionary last time we had a mix and mingle, and that was fabulous as well. But it was very think, nice meeting all, all of you too. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you, Ken. Need a Petersburg neighbor. I am. That's right. <laughs> We'll see you, you guys have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye, guys. Be safe, everyone. Bye Take bye. care. Bye. 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 bye now. Thank you. Who wants to stay on the call? <laughs> yeah, we can. I can leave this open for chatting oh and visiting. Sure. That is Kathy, I'm jealous. I wanted that little chair. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe we well, can. Well, and then I want to. I want to congratulate you for the being the upcoming president of that. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to working with you on the board. Yeah, and yeah. sorry, you too, financial director. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I okay. guess I do have to go. So I just want to say out. hello to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> bye, Kathy. Bye. Bye. Bye, 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 Kathy. Bye. Nice meeting you. Kathy. Bye. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that was a lot of fun. Take care, all. Be Thank safe, you. everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. I look forward Bye. to meeting you face to face, Dan. I mean, I look forward to meeting everyone. Yeah. Big hugs till then. <laughs> well, I, I said that we have to join now because I won something. So, you know, we're, <laughs> planning on it. we're planning on it anyway. So, excellent. So anyway, it was great. Uh, it was great meeting you all. Hey, so, we'll see. Dana, you well, Ken, before you go, Dana, um, Ken I'm is, sending you my, my, my email. Okay, good. Yeah, Ken's right near us in Gaithersburg. Okay. Yeah, we're in. We're like uh, 
I know Gaithersburg is actually pretty big. I know you guys yeah. are by the air park. I live in Gaithersburg. I live in like by the Kentlands. And then our office is uh, right by Gaithersburg High School on 355. We're in this in this, in this building with a, our showroom. So, you know, we're neighbors. Hopefully soon we can um, be neighborly. <laughs> hey, I was just at Kentlands yesterday. I should have stopped in to visit you. You can. Our showroom is open. Um, and you know, you're more than welcome to come. It's, I would say make an appointment, but we have been having, we've been very, Melvin came. It was fantastic. Um, you know, we're very careful, but, uh, if people want to come, I've had a couple clients come, you know, everybody wears a mask and keeps a distance, you know, it's all good, but, uh, you know, we're not actively, you know, and we, and I'll just say, we've been going to clients' houses and they have not, you know, depending upon the situation, you know, some are more particular than others, but we haven't had that many problems. A lot of new construction, so that's part of the reason. Yeah. So, are you guys all have a great day? Are you really in Ro Rochester? Yes. Rochester? A, I am an hour from the Canadian border right now. Uh, how uh -huh. cold is it? It is, right now it's it's 19 degrees, but with the wind chill, it feels like minus two. <laughs> and how is, how, are the, how is the Wegmans family? Oh, well, you know. <laughs> Mom and dad are dead. <laughs> Mom and I dad know, are dead, a, but Danny and the sisters are really making a go of it. So. Yep, yep. It's yep. a great place. I used to call on. I used to work up there in business. Okay. So. Yeah, I used to. You know, I, we tease you guys from being New Yorkers, but you know, it's like you drop my daughter's well, coat in the water and everything. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I've been gone for thirty years, but you know, Wegmans is very popular down here. Wegmans yeah. is popular everywhere. Yeah. It's uh, they really have a great customer service thing. They're always in the top 100 companies to work for in the United States. And yep. Um, and I've dodged that bullet. I've never directly worked for them, although I did manage one of their daycares back in college. <laughs> no, they're a very good company. They're, I mean, they're, they're very highly people. thought of. Yeah. Yeah. I used to buy antiques from a Hartwig family from Rochester. Yeah. The Hartwig. I they're still they here. Did they have a restaurant? They do. Restaurant? And I they sell there. Adirondack chairs out front. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> they, have years ago. Ago. they have like, they're kind of like, um, what is that? Cracker the Barrel? Cracker Barrel. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, where they have oh, like God. some of the furniture on the big broad porch that you wait in. And then, yeah. you know, oh, when you're God. leaving, you're like, you know, we should just buy this. <laughs> the presentation was fantastic. <laughs> you know, the, they've had a cut out there that you can't get the... Um, you can't get lunch there and stuff like that. They don't have the offerings because of COVID, but it's still a, an amazing store. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to sign off, but I thank you so much. Uh, I'm sending you my contact information and we will get together. And, and we'll, uh, we'll see you when, we're, when things are more normal. We'll all get together. Well, you'll see me at a meeting too, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. All right. You guys all have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 It was great to see you. Good night. Bye. All. Bye. And Bye. 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 we'll talk Bye -bye New now. York. Please do. Uh, yeah. Get some pizza. We'll go get some a slice of pizza somewhere. Yeah. There you go. We'll get a slice. You can do what you can do what my family's been doing and meet in a parking lot and kind of like just open your trunks and we put out our lawn chairs and have cocktails and that's a, not a we bad park idea. our cars in a circle. Yeah. Just have some cocktail. Everyone brings their own food and a you know bottle of booze to pass. Bring your own glass and we sit in a parking lot and just catch up. Not uh, I bet you, I bet you it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That, that's the last thing the cops in D.C. are worried about these days. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> last thing you guys should be worried about. Open container laws. Good night, Good night, night everybody. All. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. You guys were amazing. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. Um, just so you know, Stephanie, I will forward you guys the registration list. Oh, okay, so you okay. have the contact names of everyone that attended yeah. and their emails. Perfect. Thank you, because I have that. some IOUs from the breakout room. So that will be very helpful. Yeah, Perfect. So I, I will send that to you as soon as I shut this down. And uh, thank you all for all you do for our chapter. All right. All right. Thanks. Have a great night. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye.